Hey everyone, welcome back to Step Into Your Dream. If you're a nursing student prepping for clinicals or the NCLEX, this video is a must. Today we are covering oxygen delivery devices from nasal cannulas to non-rebreather masks and how much oxygen each one delivers. Let's break it down nice and simple. Oxygen therapy is used in so many different settings, post-op, respiratory distress, COPD, you name it. And as a nurse, you need to know which device to choose and how much oxygen it gives. The NCLEX loves this kind of stuff. So let's start. The first one we are going to talk about is nasal cannulas. So this is a very, very simple device that delivers oxygen. So the rate is between one to six liter per minute, and also it delivers 24 to 44% of oxygen. It's usually um, used in stable patients, like with mild hypoxia. Always remember, if you are delivering more than four liter and more, um, we need to um, use the humidifier to prevent nasal dryness because again, that's nasal cannula, the, it goes on the nose. And also the other one is simple face mask, which covers nose and mouth, more support than cannula. So this device delivers a six to 10 liter per minute, delivers 40 to 60% of oxygen and used in moderate oxygen needs situation. An important thing about this is uh, it, a minimum six liter per minute needed to flush out the CO2 buildup inpatient and the other one we have is venturi mask this is a precise oxygen delivery device or mask this delivers uh, usually four liter to 12 liter per minute and also delivers 24 to 60 percent of oxygen and used for copd patient NCLEX loves this one because again, it delivers the exact percentage, which is ideal for patients who rely on hypoxic derived, which is COPD patient. The other mask that we have is non-rebreather or high concentration of oxygen. This delivers 10 to 15 liter per minute. It's also delivering up to 95 to 100% oxygen and is used in severe hypoxia or emergency situation. So remember one-way valve and also the reservoir bag prevents rebreathing CO2 and make sure the bag is inflated before replacing on patient's uh, mouth and nose. Here I included the oxygen delivery comparison chart for you. You guys feel free to access it if you are preparing for your test and exam. Um, this is a great and quick access to this information. And also, I have a quick question for you. Let's work on this one. Which oxygen delivery device would you use for patient with COPD who needs precise oxygen control at 28%? A. Nasal cannula, B. Simple mask, C. Venturi mask, and D. Non rebreather. Absolutely. The answer is C. Venturi mask because again, it delivers exact amount of oxygen. Remember, COPD patient, we need to control and we need to deliver precise amount. And this is all done by Venturi mask. An awesome job. Here you go, guys. Now you know how to confidently choose the right oxygen mask and you are now closer to acing your NCLEX. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your study squad. Drop a comment with the next topic you want to see. And always remember, you are not just learning to pass your tests, you are learning to save lives. Keep going. You've got this.